For 50 years, Adel Baroudi has made Egyptians rest easy by shredding fabric and stuffing mattresses. But these days, it's Baroudi who's losing sleep because of too many bills and not enough work. Baroudi says he spends more than half his income feeding his wife and two sons. Whatever money I make, I'm in shock. As soon as I get any money, I run to the butcher because I need to eat. Analysts say the Baroudi family's growing desperation is a direct result of Egypt's economic crisis that really started to intensify right after the 2011 revolution. The revolution promised bread, freedom, and social justice, but the economy took a nosedive. The street protests, political crisis, and security vacuum that followed scared off the foreign investors and tourists this economy depended on. Analysts say more than 4,000 factories have shut down since 2011, leaving hundreds of thousands without jobs. The latest government statistics show roughly 25% of Egyptians live at or below the poverty level. That's an increase of about 4% from 2009. That means one out of four Egyptians live on this or less. That's 14 pounds or $2 a day. I haven't worked since the revolution. I have kids at school. We have no work, no income, and the country's economy is going down. Egypt's new government promised to fix things, but has failed to deliver. Ever since Morsi came to power, the country has been ruined. And now Egypt is running out of money. It's foreign cash reserves. The money it uses to buy basic commodities like wheat and cooking oil is at about $13 billion, down from $36 billion just two years ago. Egypt's shrinking savings has led to fuel shortages, long fuel lines, and frayed nerves. Analysts say a $4.8 billion loan from the IMF can help, but in return, the IMF wants Egypt to cut subsidies that could raise the price of bread and fuel, a move that could push many struggling Egyptians, like Adel Baroudi, to the brink. We will die. If expenses go up, everyone will die. A dire warning to a government that doesn't seem to have any easy options to fix its battered economy. Reza Sayah, CNN, Cairo.